Will Smith's take on the genie from Aladdin is getting an overwhelmingly negative response online. After Disney dropped a teaser trailer for the upcoming live-action adaptation of the animated classic during the Grammys, Smith's genie was immediately mocked, especially on Twitter. From the horrified to the hilarious, here are some of the best online reactions. Let's get the most obvious burnout of the way first. Countless Twitter users compared Smith's genie to David Cross's Tobias wearing his Blue Man Group makeup on Arrested Development, which, you know, fair enough. I feel like a idiot. Others compared Smith's genie to the blue dudes in James Cameron's Avatar, while YouTuber Caillou Pettis noticed the genie's freakish CGI girth, quipping, This looks like a blue version of Shrek. The seemingly endless list of blue pop culture references on Twitter also included comparisons to the Smurfs, naturally, as well as the fate of Paul Giamatti's character in Big Fat Liar. Oh A number of tweets about Smith's take on the genie came at the expense of another 90s icon, Smith's character on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. While riffing on the actor's iconic rap from the sitcom's opening credit sequence, Full Frontal with Samantha B writer Mike Drucker tweeted, In ancient Arabia, bottled and raised, at the cave of wonder, spending most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, grinding wishes to street rats outside the school. Another like-minded lyricist wrote, now I'd like to take a minute, just sit down, champ, i tell you how I became the genie of this year gold lamp. Nicely done, but we'd like to see more Six Degrees of Separation memes ourselves. Everyone's in a constant state of luxurious despair and constant discovery and paralysis. Just us. While the jokes kept coming, the reveal of Will Smith's genie appeared to be the stuff of actual nightmares for plenty of other Twitter users. YouTuber Jenny Nicholson tweeted, Will Smith genie is what happens in my room when I have sleep paralysis. While writer and activist John Paul Brammer wrote, The bar I'm in had the most visceral reaction of horror to Will Smith in the Aladdin trailer. I'm screaming. Meanwhile, Kyle Buchanan of the New York Times devoted an entire Twitter thread to his horrified response even going so far as to jokingly compare the live-action CGI genie to the unseen monsters in Netflix's Bird Box. <laughs> okay, that got me. They premiered this image at night? We are supposed to sleep after this? I have never known peace. Honestly, the Will Smith genie feels like a spoiler for Bird Box because I finally understand why image would make them so fascinated but also want to kill themselves. If some of this criticism against Will Smith's genie sounds familiar, it's because Twitter previously lost its collective mind over the character's first appearance in December 2018. When Entertainment Weekly released the first official photos from Aladdin, the genie just looked like Smith dressed up in a genie costume, which led underwhelmed social media users to gripe about the actor's hairdo and wonder why on earth his genie wasn't blue, like in the beloved original. Smith quickly responded to these concerns on Instagram, writing, Yes, I'm gonna be blue. This is how the genie is in human disguise form. My character will be CGI most of the movie. Blissfully unaware of the second round of backlash he was about to endure, he wrote alongside the second teaser trailer, I told y'all I was gonna be blue. Y'all need to trust me more often. Collider TV critic Alison Keane summed up the double dose of backlash that ensued like this. Remember when the EW images came out for Aladdin and everyone was like, oh, why isn't Will Smith blue as the genie? And now we have this. Be careful what you wish for. Some Disney fans might want to trade in their three wishes to unsee the Will Smith genie, but there are others who'd wish for Aladdin's live-action treatment to become a hit. The aptly named radio host Jasmine Sadri, for example, tweeted, I mean, I personally think the new Aladdin trailer was amazing. That's just me personally, though. However, her tweet gained thousands of likes, signaling that she's not alone in her opinion. Additionally, in stark contrast to what went down for the most part on Twitter, the comment section of Smith's Instagram post sharing the February 2019 teaser trailer was quickly flooded with messages of support. Elsewhere on Twitter, some fans simply appeared fed up with the online complaints, and others chose to remain cautiously optimistic about the upcoming Disney flick. Interestingly, a smaller group online felt Smith's genie was actually the highlight of the trailer, as one Twitter user put it. Honestly, I think Will Smith as a genie is an awesome idea, and the rest of the movie is what looks bland and uninspired. One level-headed tweeter, meanwhile, served up a dose of reality, writing, Hot take, genie already looked weird in the original Aladdin, because he's a genie. Hard to argue with that. While some Disney fanatics are holding out hope, it looks as though this version of Aladdin may be destined to add more to meme culture than the award show circuit. Ahead of its release on May 24th, 2019, we're doing our best to stay positive. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.